Are you a woman searching for purpose and success? A housewife? Maybe a single mother? You're in the right place. Welcome to Savvy Speaks Empowerment Podcast with Ms. Lisa Nobles. Activate, motivate, inspire. Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome to the Savvy Speaks Empowerment Podcast. I am Ms. Lisa Nobles, your host, and I am so excited and elated to have you here with me today. Speaking of today, our topic will consist of... I am a living testimony where I am sharing three keys. Today, I'm commentating on the topic at hand for this special empowerment segment at the Savvy Speaks Roundtable. This segment is for sharing a few keys concerning a situation where you know or where I knew the only way that I made it out was because of God. And this subject came upon an invitation um, uh, that I gave a presentation on May 26, 2023 to the ladies Bible class at the South Union Church of Christ here in um, Houston, Texas on behalf of Sister Hurd and Sister Tobit who are our our Bible class leaders and where technically I am a member of that particular congregation. They invited me as well as they invite others too to share stories on various topics but this one in particular was my particular topic is which is I am a living testimony and I you know me I'm gonna add three keys so that I can stay focused just on myself and I have to share this story and I'm very thankful for the opportunity are you ready family then let's talk about it topic I am a living testimony three keys uh, I have to give credit again to sister Hurd and sister Tobert this was their topic and I just spoke or uh, uh, you know presented the presentation to our uh, amazing Bible class uh, uh, ladies there. Uh, with me, your host is Miss Lisa Nobles. I collapsed at work in 2016. I, I mean, I, I came back from break and suddenly my brisk walk turned into a slow stroll. As I wobbled through the back door of the salon, I felt slightly dizzy as I continued to lose my balance. Nonetheless, as I approached my co-workers, I remember it was Marshall immediately knew something was wrong. Lisa, as she turned briefly away from her client, are you all right? Uh, y- y- yes, I think I am. Yet, by now my stroll was becoming a slight slump. And as I held on to the wall, they swiftly came to my rescue, guiding me into the salon dispensary. JC Penny management was alerted and 911 was called. I'll never forget that day because that was the last day as a salon professional in one of the top ranking salons in JC Penney's in Frisco, te- Texas, right? I was a workaholic family whose year ended as number 99 in the nation. And after experiencing such an incredible year, physically I was drained, tired, dehydrated and a host of other stuff. Go figure, right? When reaching the hospital, my best friend, Stephanie Henderson, and my godson came and took me home after everything was said and done. They attentively ensured that my physical needs were addressed before leaving for the evening. (laughs) You know, me, I was still expecting to miraculously get back on that hamster wheel the very next day just to begin all over again the following day i woke up ready meditating meditation done the morning prayer was completed and all was well until it was time to get out of bed and start my day i guess but as soon as i attempted to walk something needed to be corrected am i dreaming i mean did i have a stroke what was the matter with me and when i finally made it to the living room my son Tyshawn or T. Wayne, as some of you know him, called, or Ricky Wayne, called because he had installed cameras inside my home weeks before. Another story for another day. Mom, Mom what's wrong? I don't know, son. I, I, I'll be all right. I, I, I need to walk around a little, maybe take a warm bath. You know, have my tea. Just get going. Yet, to our surprise, and soon after, he responded, I'm calling you an Uber. Uber? And you are flying to Houston now. And hours later, I was in Houston, Texas, arriving. Key number one is new. God will enter you into a new season while you will go through the, uh, Hades, fires, and brimstones. In Ecclesiastes 3, 1 through 8, the Bible speaks about seasons. Now, uh, there is a time for every for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. A time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant, and a time to uproot, a time to kill, and a time to heal, a time to tear down, and a time to build, a time to weep, and a time to laugh, a time to mourn, and a time to dance, a time to scatter stones, and 
a time to gather them, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to search and a time to give up, a time to tear, da- tear and a time to mend, a time to be silent and a silent, a silent and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, and a time for war and a time for peace. Come on, somebody. You must claim your victory while you are inside of the storm. In the past few months, I've relearned what God that God does his best work when we are broken. You see, God is not waiting for us to be fixed by pulling Elmer's glue out. No. Start why don't we start picking up the Thompson chain? Why? Because and that's just my va- my favorite Bible uh, uh uh publisher, that's all. Why? Because the Bible says in Matthew 4 and 4, man should not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of out of the mouth of God. He's waiting for us to trust him to do the fixing and to be the fixer. Come on, somebody, stop usurping God's authority. I mean the Bible says in Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. In all of your ways, submit. Um, King James Virgin says, acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. Sisters, please hear me when I say this. Your new season, your new times, and your expected outcomes will only sometimes be manifested in a way, not will not be manifested in the way in which we imagine. Stop looking at the bed of roses when God may deliver you while in a field of weeds. You see, your delivery will manifest in the way God planned it, not in the way which we imagined it all the time. Isaiah 55, 8 through 9 says, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither my ways, my ways, says the Lord. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways. My thoughts than your thoughts. God will give you favor inside of your struggle. Key number two is appearances. This was my favorite. Now I'm in Houston, and the the appearances of my declining health is still unknown. I went to the clinic and to a care uh, a hospital on the same day. Between the two, I had the brain scan, the EKG, the ABC, and all the alphabets of the uh, uh, all the letters of the alphabet. Right, and the physician on call finally figured out what was going on because he too himself had a similar uh, experience and, and could relate. He had this same uh, diagnosis. I was diagnosed with a complicated migraine. No, I had never had migraines, or some people call it uh, migraine complete or something like that. No, I never had migraines to a degree in my life, but for some reason, this condition mimics many strokes, especially at the onset of stress. Lord, forgive me for submitting to the appearances or the negative appearances or the stressful appearances of life. This appearances of lack, the appearances of loneliness, the appearances of false appearances of strongholds, the bondage of my life experiences, the experience of me and my circumstances. Lord, for it is you who issues our power to obtain wealth. And I'm not speaking from a financial perspective. Third John verse two says, beloved, I wish above all things that you may as prosper and be healthy even as my soul prospers. I mean, emotional wealth, maintaining a wealthy, wealthy prayer life, submissive wealth, and an obedient, and an obedient state of wealth. So an obedient mind or an obedient spirit right god will give you favor in the appearances sometimes family you must gravitate toward the people who who are expecting you to win who are spiritually wealthy who is praying that you will overcome who is rooting for your success to build a strong dependency on god sisters what are your appearances or hindrances preventing you from increasing your spiritual wealth god will give you favor in the the appearances, the negative ones is what I'm saying. The ones that we need to come overcome. Key number three, and your last key for this evening is canvas. Repaint your life's canvas. Sometimes, um, sometimes we have a polaroid of how our life or our prayers are supposed to be answered, and I, as I message, mentioned in key number one. But God gives us a choice to repaint or recreate ourselves. Second Corinthians three seventeen says, "Now the spirit, where the now the spirit, the no, excuse me, now the Lord is the spirit, and where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty, there is freedom." To take this concept one step further, Romans 12 and verse 2 says, And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may uh, prove that what is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Paul said it like this in 1 Corinthians 13, 11, When I was a child, I spake as a child, I understood as a child, I thought as a child, but when I became a, you know, I put away childish things. Well, 
or we can go over we can go over to Ephesians 4, 22 through 24, where the Bible commands to put off your old self, which belongs to your former manner of life and is corrupt through deceitful lust, and, will, and to be renewed by in the spirit of your minds, and to put on the new self created after the likeness of God and the true righteousness and holiness. Sisters, this is an opportunity to recreate a new life canvas through mindset changes or repositioning our life choices and making deliberate choices. Take a chance on Christ by trusting his word during the good times and the bad times. See, sometimes we become so dependent on God when life is, when things are going well. Take Job as a prime example, another story for another day because of time's sake, and then we falter as soon as life gets tough and challenging. James 1 and 6 says, but when you ask, you must believe and not doubt because the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea blown and tossed through the wind. Who's been on the cruise? of the faithless crews. Come on, somebody. The word of God is there to provide spiritual, nutritional value. Sometimes God will show you yourself to see you, see who you truly are. Be on the look la- lookout. You won't want to miss that reel because some significant clips are relevant to your future growth, development, obtainment, and manifestation of your blessing. Finally, I was sent to Dr. Roski, my first neurologist here in the Houston, Texas, and after months of brain scan tests and surveys, you know what he told me and my son, that my brain was beautiful. Dr. Roski told me, Rossi told me that I had a beautiful brain. He had never seen anything like it in this case before. He was expecting to find something, but nothing was there. I was a one in a million case to repaint your life, people. It is time for a new and fresh camp. It's first to begin to purge your life spiritually and analyze the thoughts, values, opinions you hold about yourself. Do you believe you are nothing? Or are you neighborly or nurturing? Do you think you are average? Or are you admirable and adaptable? Today I came to tell you that to paint a new you, you begin with a new mindset. Maybe today you are average, but there is nothing average about obtaining and receiving God's manifested blessings. There is nothing average about being a child of God of the Most High God. Hebrews 2 and seven exclaims you made them a little lower than the angels you crowned them with glory and honor and how about genesis 127 so god our god created mankind in his own image in his own image god created them he created them male and female matthew 25 14 through 15 for the kingdom of heaven is a man traveling to a faraway country who called on his servants and delivered them and his goods and to unto one he gave five talents to another two and to another one and one man according to his several ability and straightway took the journey your bank account doesn't have to equal your aptitude where in god word did it say that right right listen to me i'm gonna have to cut this short <laughs> but listen to me your bank account does not have to equal your aptitude where in god's word did he make that an option to be a called or chosen person Sisters, factors operating under favor of the highest kings of kings, the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last, because sometimes God will manifest your blessings while you are in recovering, in recovery. And, you know, I had a little bit more left, but due to sake to time, I'm going to end right there and I will do a part two just on that. It's probably about three minutes left within this particular conversation. I really enjoyed myself. But anyway, listen to this. I am elated to have participated in this show today. I know that someone somewhere was touched by this wealth of knowledge. Thank you for allowing me to share this information with you. As a bonus, please visit www.iamlisanobles.com where you can receive free podcast resources for being a part of the Savvy Speaks podcast family. Thank you to the Savvy Speaks listeners for being a part of the show. And remember, remember my mantra. And as I always say, you are unique combination of experiences closed and purpose strength and destiny have a great week and i will see you right here next time on the savvy speaks empowerment podcast with miss lisa nobles bye-bye thanks so much for listening to this episode of savvy speaks empowerment podcast with ms lisa nobles online at imlisanobles.com and on facebook and instagram at ewofp if you enjoyed today's episode please rate and review and we'll catch you next time on savvy speaks empowerment podcast activate motivate inspire